part two, we looked at simple data types and operators. In this video, we look at variables and container types. A variable is a name bound to an object. A name is written with the letters of the alphabet, both lowercase and uppercase, the numeral 0 to 9, and the underscore. But a name cannot start with the numeral. Stick to the following. Write a constant with capital letters and any other variable name with lowercase letters and numerals. A long name with several words can separate words with an underscore or using camel case where the capital letter for the second word is like a camel's hump. A name is bound to an object by the assignment operator, which uses the equal sign. Here, A is a name and 23 is an int object. An object is a portion of memory with an address, an ID, which can be the address, a type, a value, and possibly other properties. The name is a reference to the object, which means that using a name accesses the memory address of the object. The type and id built-in functions can take variable names as arguments and return the type and id of the object referenced by the name. A variable name is like a label which can be moved from one object to a different object. For example, the statement a equals 75 has moved the name A from the int object 23 and bound it to a different int object 75. The name can be bound to an object of a different type, such as a string. A second name can be bound to the same object by assigning it to an existing name, which has bound B to the object referenced by A, but if the first name is assigned to a different object, the second name doesn't follow. The is operator tests if two different names are bound to the same object or not. All operators act on variables by acting on the objects they reference. And variables also have in place operators, such as x plus equal 5, which is an addition assignment operator that is a shortcut for x equals x plus 5. Note that the expression x equals x plus 5 is not an equation as in maths because subtracting x from both sides would yield 5 equals 0, which is false. In Python, as in other computer languages, x equals x plus 5 is an update assignment which updates the value of x by adding 5 to its old value and assigning to it the new value. Here are some other in-place operators. Now for some other data types, including complex numbers, booleans, and strings. Although a string is a basic type, it is also a container type, because it can contain two or more items. A string is a sequence of characters that can be indexed with the square brackets index operator which accesses each item with an integer index that starts at 0 for the first item and ends at the string length minus 1. The string length is 3 and the index range is from 0 to 2 accessing the three items. Python allows negative indexing, which accesses items from right to left but only up to the last item on the left. Other container types are the list, the tuple, the dictionary with type code dict, and the set. They have constructor functions that produce default empty containers. A container variable with values is created by assigning a container literal to a name. Each container type has its own literal format. A list has square brackets and can contain items of different types including other lists and other container objects. A list is indexed like a string and has a number of methods attached to it, such as append, which adds an item to the end of a list, and pop, which removes the last item. A list is mutable, which means that an item can be changed. A tuple is similar to a list, but its literal is a comma-separated list written by Python in round brackets, 
and is often written by a coder in round brackets for clarity. Unlike a list, a tuple is immutable, so once created, its values cannot be changed, and items cannot be added or removed. A dictionary is a comma-separated list of key-value pairs, written in braces, or curly brackets, with a colon between a key and a value, for example, D, which allows for non-integer indexing of values. Finally, a set is a comma-separated list of items in braces that is immutable, cannot be indexed, orders its items itself, and allows only one value of each item. So if you create a set with multiple identical items in a certain order, it will remove duplicates and impose its own ordering. And it cannot be indexed or subscripted, which is another word for indexed. An empty container can be created with an empty literal rather than with a constructor function, including a string, a list, a tuple, and a dict. A set and a dict both used braces, so an empty set must be created with its default constructor function.